I didn't. The only thing uh, that didn't kind of bug me about it was like I thought there was gonna be more of a survival aspect to it. I it was gonna be more realistic. And you know it. It kind of went the non-realistic route, but I mean that's that's fine. I guess I just I thought it was gonna be like about saving your friends and like while well, saving your friends. Like having to like hunt deer when you get hungry and shit. Like I thought it was gonna be like a realistic thing like that. Kinda like a survivor kind of game. But I suppose that would get annoying. <clears throat> I suppose that would get annoying. It just that's what I thought. Cause it was like you gain experience from hunting things and shit like that. I mean I didn't explore lots around the island, but I did all the optional tombs. The only other things I can imagine there would be would be like. I don't know, just fucking like the GPS things. And those treasures. All for like scavenge parts. What do you mean? The upgrades. The upgrades, like the. They were. They were eh. The ones for the bow were cool, but the ones for every other weapon were kind of, except for the incendiary bullets with the shotgun, they're kind of just like, oh, helps me aim and does more damage. Oh, helps me aim and does more damage. Oh, helps me aim and does more damage. Cool, but like the bow is like uh, fucking explosive shit. Here's a fucking rope. <laughs> Here's fire arrows. They did a good job of making like her human though. I guess that was like their whole fucking conquest with this game. Cause they like the whole thing this game was like when every other Tomb Raider was basically just like Look at my tits, look at my tits. No one really played it for anything, but, you know, look at my tits. So, yeah, they wanted to, like, f flesh her out. Uh, it's ironic. It's an ironic phrase to choose. But, flesh her out to, um... Make it more appealing to a modern-day audience. Because... I believe that modern gamers don't really care about tits. I mean, they care about tits, but not in games. Because, like, like, I mean, like, they're nice if they're there, but like, this is me personally, they're nice if they're there, but I'm not gonna purchase a game for tits. <laughs> like, I play games to enjoy story, to enjoy stories and have fun. And if I wanted tits, I would go out to a bar and talk to a girl. <laughs> My voice cracked when I said girl. If I, if, I wanted, if I wanted tits, I'd go out to a bar and talk to a girl. <laughs> One chocolate milk, please. <laughs> That's what I order at the bar. Uh, um, but yeah, I don't know. That was just me. I never seen like, even when I was younger, I never saw like the like glory of bringing tits to video games because it doesn't look natural. Like when I was younger, it didn't look natural. It didn't look sexy. Like now, you can you look at Laura Croft in this game, you're like, damn, she looks sexy. Even you know, if she's not a real person, you're like. That is like the woman she was modeled after is a beautiful fucking woman, <laughs> and therefore this thing, this creation, is beautiful. But back in the day, it'd be like, oh, look at them polygons, <laughs> them them triangle ass tits. <laughs> That's hot. That's how I always saw it. It was just like it's weird. But yeah, they did a good job. She seemed human. I feel like they could have done, um, since it was an origin story, they could have done better to build on her character. Like, 
some backstory. Like there was shit with her father, but I mean, other things. Not like, not like, like what they gave you was enough, but they could have told it better. I guess what I'm trying to say, yeah. Who was Roth in connection to her anyway? Like, I guess her dad's friend. I don't think they outright said it. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I think he was just like, I think he was just like, oh, you're a Croft, you'll be fine. And I didn't say it, but I just assumed like, oh, you know. And he was like, oh, you're more and more like your father. And I was like, oh, it must be like Peppy from Star Fox. I've never played a Tomb Raider though. Before this one, this is my first. This popped my Tomb Raider cherry. I um, played like the demo of the one that came out for the 360 before this, and I didn't like it. I didn't know what to do. Like I was just, yeah, I was just confused. I didn't know what to do in it. So I don't know if this held up to like its. Um, namesake like I know Tomb Raider has always been like a puzzle game like a puzzle platformer kind of game at least I think so <laughs> so yeah if if that is true then it didn't really hold up to its roots it was more of an action-y shoot em kind of thing it was a fun action-y shoot em though I really like the way the gunplay worked. Except the uh, fucking guys who threw dynamite. I, there was too much of that, and the guys who threw Molotovs. I know it was it was get you to like to change up your strategy and move around and shit, but it was annoying. It, it was annoying because it's like you're sitting there and you're like trying to get a headshot on some guy, and it was just like every three seconds. If you did it like something like every ten seconds, I'd understand. I'd be like, oh shoot, gotta move. But they did they did it too rapidly. It was too it was like you would move and then they throw another one. You move and then throw another one and you just didn't have time to shoot. It was annoying. And Whitman was a really one dimensional character. Like he had no fucking No uh, redemption to <laughs> use beyond shitty. I mean, Grim was kind of one dimensional too, but at least he was cool. I don't know. That's, it, was, it was a fun game. Yeah, the only other thing I'm confused about is is this supposed to be a reboot or an origin story? Because then if it's, if it's a reboot then it means it's going to be more which I'm, I'm excited. I would try. Um, but if it's like an origin story does that mean that like every Tomb Raider is supposed to come after this? Is like like this is like the like the beginning and every Tomb Raider before is supposed to come up after this. Because if so, then, like, where the fuck did she have, like, a cell phone and shit? Ah. Fun game, though. I wonder if there's some kind of a new game plus you can do. Because new game plus is always a plus. Overall, queen completion of 71%. You return to the island by selecting like, continue. Or complete any unfinished activities. I want to see how this works. I want to see how this continue works. Like, where does it take me? Am I just like unexplained, kind of like a sandbox play kind of thing? Or is she like, I'm going back to the island just for shits and giggles? I prefer the first one. Sandbox modes are fun. Dead Rising 2 sandbox mode. Maybe so. We're all using base camp, fetch all the final rewards, and complete any unfinished challenges. Okay. Yeah, 
it's just kind of like a sandbox thing. That's cool. I mean, it's I, I like when games do that because it still lets you like play your game. Because a lot, like a lot of games, are just like, oh yeah, whatever. You beat it. <laughs> it's over. Fucking controller turned off. You can't play it anymore. You gotta restart it if you wanna play it. So it's cool that they're like, yeah, here, here you go, fucking do what you want. Either that, or they they do that thing where it's like, go back to before you beat the game, and then you can do everything you want it. I hate those. I hate's a strong word. I dislike those. I prefer these, because there, you're like, oh, yeah, I can, but it's not the same feeling. I feel like games um do it best in, like, um, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door kind of ending, where he... Um, if you play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, you know what I'm talking about, obviously, but if you don't, when you beat the game, um, you come back to the place that the whole game took place in, like, the whole town, or areas, like, where you start the game, essentially, you come back there, and just, it's like, the people that you were on adventure with are all there, like, Mario, it's been a couple months, we, we heard you were coming in, we thought we'd all come say hi, so then... They're like, yeah, we'll hang with you. So it's basically as if Mario just came back to say hi. And it's like, oh, let's just go do whatever we want to do. And so it's like, okay, that makes sense. Because he came back and now they're doing whatever the fuck they want to do. If they want to go down a warp pipe and fight a giant squid, they're crazy. But that's their crazy business. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. But then when you do it like, like the first Paper Mario, where it would just like, one of those games where it said the end, and you had to press reset and go to your last save. Those upset me. Because I was always just like, you can't go back and beat it 100% and just enjoy it. Like, you can't just walk out and play in the game like, I beat this 100%. Because like, to beat it a full 100%, you have to do that last little bit. And when you do that last little bit, the game's like, alright, reset me. You're like, well, now I'll never... Like, it's never going to be 100% exactly. Because there's that 1% of the game that I cannot play because you keep making me reset it. There's that, and then it just feels like there's an overwhelming presence on you to complete that final mission. You can't just be like, I gotta go collect all these side thingies even though, you know, the world's on fire and I need to put it out. I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope you come around for the next Let's Play, which is either going to be Bioshock Infinite, Donkey Kong Country Returns, or Psychonauts. Uh, and I love you all in a totally non-physical way, because I'm saving up my physical love for Laura. Because look at that. Alright, man. Alright, like, look at that. Just shh, and look at that. I mean, I like a girl with a British voice to begin with. Like, I like British voices. V girl voice. <laughs> voices. <laughs> Just in general, playing all the time. I think a British voice in a woman is attractive. And then you put that into it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Physical love save for Laura. Even though she ain't real. <laughs> you make your jokes. I'm going to bed.